What's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, I just got back from the game. Uh, you know, wasn't a bad experience. I know the scoreboard may look like it was close, but this game was over with like five minutes to go. There was some just mistakes. You know, looking at some of the, the positives, this defense didn't play as bad. Uh, they only allowed ten points in reality on the scoreboard. Uh, but we can't depend on our defense to win games. It's just, you know, this defense has its flaws. All year, for those who've watched this team, all year the defense has been hard to watch. This time it got to stops. It got a lot of yards, but it bended, but didn't break. Uh, there was that lucky turnover we had in the beginning, which was nice. Some sacks. Stopped a fake field goal, which was cool. Uh, but in the end, uh, horrible offensive moments. Uh, you know, I knew Illinois had a dual-threat quarterback in Shillhouse. I knew he was going to be running like crazy. We didn't do too bad at containing him. For the, he, Yeah, he had his first downs here and there, but it wasn't like he was running everywhere on us. It wasn't a whole Darren Thomas thing. Uh, the offense, yeah, a lot of problems. I knew the offensive line. I knew Illinois had a good defensive line. They have like two or three guys who will be in the NFL for sure. Uh, they kicked our ass on the on the offensive line. They could not. They were getting the Prince like crazy. Uh, Prince had, you know, he had some nice throws on the money, but the, I thought the receivers dropped them. There were some drops early on. We we had a lot of dropped passes by receivers, and that hurt. Uh, the other thing, of course, that pick six. I mean, Kevin Prince was half of their offense. There was that one snap that turned out to be a fumble, and it turned out to set up a field goal the other way, and then that pick six. So Kevin Prince was the MVP for the Illinois, in my opinion, today. Just uh, a lot of a lot of mistakes. You know, three or four plays made a difference in this game. Those two two turnovers, and then that one, you know, in the fourth quarter, that one play that just went deep. Some blown coverage on third down. Blown. Let him go right by him. That was horrible. You know, Nelson Rosario gets a garbage touchdown. Big deal. Embry makes up for a drop with the one touchdown. But, you know, this game, I figured it would be kind of a mess. It's uh, Illinois' defense was it's much better than ours. And figured it, it wouldn't be. I thought it would be a little bit more of a blowout to Illinois. But happy there was some heart. I wanted some pride. That's all I can ask for. Uh, they didn't just lie down or get hung over on the partying they did this week in San Francisco. Uh, you know, the experience at the game wasn't so bad. I just wish they had let the bands do their marching on the field, but they were stuck in the stands, both bands of this game. Uh, yeah, I, I was also very pissed off to have some orange towels. I mean, do I really need an orange <laughs> rally towel out of all things? They gave Illinois fans these orange towels. <laughs> that was horrible. And then, of course, when Illinois scored the touchdown, they waved the flag in our faces, in the Bruin fans' faces, and... Uh, that was kind of annoying too, but I, I, tradition, whatever, it's fine. You know, when UCLA scored, they had, you know, they were on their own side of the field. They, the fat guys did not run over to our, pff, the opposing team's end zone. That that part kind of pissed me off, but it's it is what it is. Uh, Illinois much better defensively, and you know, on the ground especially, they were able to. We couldn't run the ball at all. The pistol. If teams have a good defensive line, the pistol is useless. Uh, we just learned that today. Um, you know, whatever Jim Moore is doing, he better not be running the pistol. I don't think it's going to do any good for us uh, for from here on out. Uh, <laughs> Prince, though. Prince had his moments, you know, but the offensive line couldn't block for him at all. The, the defensive line, I said before, just owned us. And that that's the story of the game. Uh, a lot of unusual plays here and there. Uh, they're, they're, Illinois could have ran up the score if their quarterback was more accurate with his arm or with... Or if the receivers learned to catch the ball, because there were some plays that we let up our guard. But lucky us, the defense otherwise wasn't too bad. Uh, just where was that all season? Where was that kind of defense? Uh, that was supposed to be our strength this season, and it was anything but that. So, yeah, pick six and inter that other fumble was sloppy. Just not a lot of, you know, it's been a rough season. But at the same time, it, it you know... I could go with the chip on my shoulder and say, hey, at least they showed up with pride and they, they actually cared about this game. Uh, not sure how the, you know, what's going on otherwise, but good luck the rest of the way. Uh, Jim Mora, he was on the screen. They nicely applauded him, which was good. I was wondering if they were disliking him to hire or not, <laughs> the Bruin fans who were there. Not as, you know, the attendance was pretty small from what I was seeing. I didn't see the second deck, but felt so weird to see be in a baseball stadium for a football game. I know Illinois has done that already at Wrigley Field last season. So yeah, props to Illinois, props to uh, Shill, Shillhouse. He was he was killing us with these scrambles and their defensive line and front seven just owned us. Uh, 
you know, good game. You know, they were the better team, and they won, so that's about all I could say. Go Bruins. See you guys later, and I'll recap the season with probably one more video. I don't know when, but I'll, I'll recap the season or with my final thoughts. See you guys later, and go Bruins.